Hi everyone, my name is Deja and I'm with the Tech Pals. Now the Tech Pals is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We help teach technology to seniors by providing Chromebooks and technology education materials. Now today we're going to talk about how you can store your files in the cloud and access them from anywhere using the Tech Pals top pick for cloud storage services, which is Google Drive. Now without further ado, let's get started by talking about what a cloud storage service is and how you can use one. What is the cloud? Cloud storage allows you to access your files easily on any device without physical media like USB drives or floppy drives. So your cloud files can be accessed on laptops, desktops, and phones, and they can be accessed from anywhere where you have internet access in the entire world. So today we're gonna to talk about the TechPal's top pick for cloud storage services, which is Google Drive. First, before we can install the Google Drive app on your computer, we need to identify what kind of computer you have. If you have the Apple logo in the top left corner of your screen, you are using Mac OS. If you have a circle like this in the bottom left corner of your screen, you're using Chrome OS. And if you have one of these two symbols, in the bottom left or the center of your screen, then you have Windows. So now the so let's start off by talking about Google Drive for Web. Now, Google Drive for Web is a version of Google Drive that runs in your web browser and allows you to do things like sharing files, renaming files, deleting files, moving files, and creating files. And this will be able to access on pretty much any device that has a web browser. So to get started with Google Drive for Web, open your web browser. This could be any web browser and go to the website drive.google.com and then press enter. Now, sometimes it'll lead you to a page saying, sign in to continue with Google Drive, like I got here. And if it did that, just type in your email address. That ends in gmail.com. Now, if you do not have an email address that ends in gmail.com, Please watch our how to use Gmail video. I'll put that in the description as well as up in the info cards. Now click next and type in your password. Then again, click next. And you'll be in. So this is the Google Drive web interface. Now, as you can see, we don't have any files right now. So let's get started by creating some files. To create a file, you have to press the button that has a plus and then the word new next to it. It's underneath the Google Drive logo at the top left of your screen. So you can click on that. Then click on the type of file you want to create. So let's say we want to create a Google Doc. Click Google Docs. So, and then you will be inside the Google Docs interface. So let's just type some stuff into our document like this is a And then we can name the file. So if you want to name a Google file, you have to click the word untitled next to the logo and then type in the name you want, just type it. And then we have created a new document. So now if we navigate back to My Drive by clicking on the My Drive tab, you will see that TechPal's video, the file we just created, is now showing up in Google Drive. 
But what if you already have files and you want to upload them onto your Google Drive web interface? So to do that, again, you click the new button. But then instead of pressing one of the Google types, click file upload. And then choose the file. So let's say I have a file in desktop, old files, this file. So just click on the file you want to open and then click the word open. And as you can see, now the file that I wanted to upload is now available on Google Drive. So that's great. But if we just upload all our files, it'll get a little hard to find stuff. So now let's talk about methods of organizing your files, including renaming them and using folders to separate them. So let's start by talking about the rename operation. So if you don't like the name of a file, you can change its name in Google Drive. And the way to change the file's name is by going to the very end of the file, see the three dots, click the three dots, then click the word rename. And then you'll see that you are able to rename. So just type in the new name. Just start typing as soon as you see rename. Like maybe you want to name it that. And then you can click enter. And once you click enter, you'll see a little message like that at the bottom telling you that your file has been renamed. So we can try that again using a different file. You click the three dots, you click rename, and you rename it. And now we have a renamed file. And we see the little message at the bottom left. But what if we want to organize them with folders? So folders can be used to separate your files into different categories of sorts. Let's say you have a lot of files related to one subject, you can put them in a folder, just like physical folders. So to create a folder, click the new button, but instead of clicking one of these, you click the word new folder. Now, as soon as you click new folder, you will see a box with the word new folder in it. In here, you can just type the name of your folder, maybe you want to call important, stuff. Then you can click the word create. And we have a new folder. So great, we have a folder. But what if we want to put stuff in the folder? Well, that's easy. Just click the three dots. Click organize. And then click move. Then you can click the word all locations. Then choose my drive. And then click move next to the folder you want to move it to. So now if we go to that folder, we will see that the document is now in that folder. So now let's talk about what you want to do if you want to print a document. To print a document, just click on the document twice and then press Ctrl and P at the same time. Then press Ctrl and P again. So sometimes you'll have to do this twice to get this to appear. Sometimes you'll have to do this once. Then you can just choose your printer name and click print. So now that we've talked about how you can organize your files and print them, let's talk about how helping somebody else view our files. And we can do that using the share operation. So remember this document, let's say we have some important stuff in this document. And we want somebody else to be able to see this. Well, that's pretty easy. All you do is click the file you want to share. You see the three dots again. 
then click the word share. Then click the word share again. So then a dialogue will appear, a little box on your screen, it'll say share and then the name of your document, right like that. Then you just have to type in the email address of the person you want to share it with. Then press the enter key once it's finished. Then that decide you'll see a box saying the word editor. Now, this allows you to choose the permission level, which is essentially what that person is allowed to do with your file once they get it. Whether they are allowed to edit it, or edit it with your permission, or only look at it. So there are three different types of sharing. There's editor, which means they can edit your file, they can make changes to it, they can rename it. There's commenter, which means they're allowed to edit it, but you have to approve every single change. And then there's a viewer, which means that the person who you're sending the file to cannot edit the file. So let's say I don't want them to edit my file. I can click viewer, then press send. And then almost instantly, the file has been shared with that person. So now that we've talked about some of the basics of using Google Drive for Web, let's get started on the desktop apps which allow you to effectively manage your files straight from your file manager. So now that we've talked about how you can use the Google Drive web app in order to effectively manage your files, now let's talk about how you should install the desktop apps on your computer for better access to your files straight from your computer's file manager. So to install the Google Drive desktop app, open your browser and head to google.com slash drive slash download. And on this page, you'll see a button, download drive for desktop. Click on the button, and a file called Google Drive Setup.exe will start downloading. So you see a little arrow, click on it, and just wait for the file to finish downloading. Then double click on the file, and a dialog saying, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device will appear on screen. Select yes, and then click the install button on your computer screen. Then hit the launch button and wait for the Google Drive dialog to appear on your screen. Then press get started and then you'll see a button called sign in. Now I'm going to assume you've already logged in like we showed you how to in the Google Drive web section of the video. So if you've already logged in, you'll see your account name here. If not, go back to the Google Drive web section of the video in order to see how to log in. Then you'll see a make sure that you downloaded this app from Google. You downloaded it from Google, so just click sign in. Then close out of Chrome and automatically Google Drive should begin synchronizing your files. So it'll ask you to do some configuration, it'll ask you which folders you want to sync. For now, I would say sync your desktop and your documents. If you see something called merge the existing folder, just click continue. Then again, you might want to back up your pictures and click next. And then click next again. And finally, open drive. So now Google Drive is done setting up. In order to start using Google Drive on your computer, Open the File Explorer app on your computer and in the right sidebar of the File Explorer, click the Google Drive G colon button and then click My Drive, double click. So then you'll see your Google Drive and this will show up as regular files. 
So what if we had some old files that we want to transfer over to our Google Drive? Well, you can simply drag and drop them over like this. You can copy Control C and paste Control V or you can right click and then hit the copy button here. Right click again and click the paste button at the bottom. It looks like that. And you can also create folders by right clicking new and you'll see a few options. You can see the option to create Microsoft documents. You can see the option to create Google documents and you can see the option to create a folder. So we're just going to create a folder and name it like old files. Then you can just again move them by dragging and dropping the files into the directory. So you just put your mouse on top of the file and drag while clicking the mouse into the right directory. And there you can also make sure a file is available without internet access by right clicking on the file clicking the show more options button if it is available if it is not available you should see a menu that looks like this and then clicking offline access available offline so this is how you use the google drive desktop app on your windows computer So now that we've showed you how to use the Google Drive app on web as well as installing Google Drive on Windows, now let's talk about how you can install Google Drive on Mac. So first open the browser and go to google.com slash drive slash download. Then you'll see a button saying download drive for desktop, click on the button. Then click on the little arrow at the top right of your browser window. You will see Google Drive.dmg starting to download. So let's just wait for it to finish downloading before we start the installation process. So now that the Google Drive app has finished downloading, just double click on Google Drive.dmg. Then once you see this window pop up, double click on Google Drive.pkg. Then you'll see another window saying, welcome to the Google Drive installer. You have to click continue, then click continue, then click install. Then type in your computer's password, not your Google account password, your computer's password that you used to log in. So then it's going to start installing the app and then you will eventually hear a little sound and it'll finish installing. Just click move to trash and you'll see welcome to Google Drive on your screen. So click the get started button and then click the sign in button. Now you'll see your account on the screen. If you don't see your account please go back to the section about using Google Drive on the web to learn how to sign into your account. If you see it, just click on it. Then you'll see a screen asking you to download the app from Google. Yes, you did. Click sign in. Then click on the Google Drive again. Now another window will pop up and it'll ask you what you want to sync to Google Drive. So I recommend picking out the desktop and documents folder for syncing to Google Drive then just click next and then just skip this step because it's going to back up screenshots and other stuff so you just skip the step about backup to Google Photos and then it'll say these folders will sync to Drive this is good so just click next and then click next again and then you'll see an open Drive button so once this happens you can go to Finder and you'll see in the sidebar the words Google Drive. 
just click on Google Drive, then double click on the word, the folder, My Drive. So now we have our Google Drive app installed on our MacBook computer. But what if you want to move files or manage files with the Mac? Well, let's say we have a file like this file example I have on my desktop. It's a video file. And we want to move it to Google Drive. Well, you can simply either drag and drop it <coughs> like that and then just let go. Or you can do a right click, click copy, then go to my drive, do another right click and you'll see a paste item. Now, if you're on a laptop, you do a right click by clicking with two fingers. If you're on a desktop, you do a right click by hitting the right mouse button. Now, what if we want to create a new folder? Again, do a right click and you'll see the new folder entry at the top and you just type in the name of your folder there. And then we can drag and drop our video into testing or whatever you call the folder. Now, what if you want the file to be available so you can view it without internet access? Well, you simply right click the file and you'll see some actions at the bottom with the Google logo next to them. Just click the available offline button and you'll see a little check mark, green check mark next to the file. So that'll mean it's available offline. So if you're using Chrome OS on your computer, there's no need to worry about installing the Google Drive client because Google Drive has already been configured on your Chromebook. To access the Google Drive client, open the Files app and go to the Google Drive My Drive in the sidebar. And then you'll see your Google Drive folders in your Google Drive in Chrome OS. So let's say I had some other files like these that I wanted to move. Again, you can simply drag and drop by clicking on the file and dragging the file over to Google Drive while it's held down. And you can do this off a USB stick or you can do this off your computer. To create a folder, just like on Windows, you can right click and create new folder and then type in the name of the folder. Like maybe I'm gonna call this Chrome OS. And then you can drag files into it or you can right click on a file and again, copy and paste into the folder or you just click paste here. Now, if you want a file to be available without internet access, you just have to click on the file and then click the available offline. So if you want to, for example, let's say you want to make example.xps available offline Click on it and then click the word available offline at the top of the screen. You'll see a little check mark with a line below it inside a circle. That means it's available offline. So now that we've talked about how you can use the Google Drive apps on desktop and on web, Let's talk about how you can access your Google Drive files from anywhere using your cell phone. So to get started, you need to download the Google Drive app on your phone. So just open the App Store or the Play Store and search for Drive. Now at the top, you will see Google Drive. If you see an Install button, click on Install if you see Update. Click on Update. and just let it finish installing or finish updating. Then press open. Now from now on, you should be able to either find drive on one of your home screens or swipe up and see drive or swipe all the way to the right and find drive. So just open drive and you will see an interface you'll see four tabs on the bottom you'll see home which is just files that it's suggesting 
Then you'll see shared. You'll see shared. So shared is where you'll find files that somebody else has shared to your email address. And then you'll see files. So files is like the all, the My Drive tab on the web interface. And the My Drive tab on the web interface will give you your entire drive. You'll see My Drive at the top. You'll also see computers, which will show you all the computers that you've connected to Google Drive. So I have one computer and then I have two computers. And I can see files from there. So in my drive, you can do things like open a file by clicking it once. Just tap on a file and it should load. You can rename files. To rename a file on the mobile app, just like on web, you click the three dots and then you'll see a rename option. Click on the rename option and rename the file. Let's just say we want to name it. I'm going to name it that, and as you can see, the file name has changed. Or maybe we want to rename another file, we can do the same thing. Click the three dots, click rename, and type the new name. And there. Now, what if we want to move files and create files? Well, just like on web, you'll see a new button except this time it's at the bottom right near the word files. So you click new, you'll see docs, slides, sheets, folder, and upload, as well as a new option called scan. So let's say we want to create a Google doc. You can just tap docs and you'll get your untitled document. You can type some stuff in it. And then you'll see the X. See, now we have a new document. Now, what if we want to move stuff? You can click the three dots. Again, now you have to scroll down with one finger. So you scroll down to move. You click move, and then you click your folder and click move again. Now, what if we want to create a new folder? Just like on desktop, you can click new, and then press the word folder. Then you type in the name. And that's the same folder. You can then move stuff. You can move different files to those folders. Now let's talk about the scan option. So the scan option is an option that allows you to take a digital scan of a piece of paper. So essentially you have a paper document, you can take a photo and put it onto Google Drive. So to do that, just press the little camera icon or press new scan. Then if it asks you for permission, you click while using the app. Then you just take a document And it will turn that document, it'll crop it and clean up the document so it looks like a digital document. So this, this feature on Google Drive for cell phones allows you to save any document on paper to Google Drive. So thanks everyone for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, remember to check us out at www.thetechpals.org or call us at 1-844-TECHPALS. Now, if you have any problem with any of the procedures I showed in this video, feel free to reach out to us and we'll be happy to help you. Thank you and enjoy your day.